Hello everyone, welcome to my channel for math tutorials, squares and cubes. Today we are going to learn more about circles and three more theorems related to circles. The theorems that we are going to learn today are equal quads subtend equal angles at the center. The perpendicular from the center of the circle to a quad bisects the quad and vice versa. Equal quads are equidistant from the center. Before I start with the video, I would like to request you to please like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more wonderful videos for you and you can get help from those. So let's move on to our first theorem. Equal quads subtend equal angles at the center. Here we are given two quads, AB and CD. So first of all, we should know what is a quad. A quad is a line segment which is joined by two points from the circumference of the circle. Here the two quads are AB and CD which are equal. Now the quads subtend the angle AOB and COD at the center of the circle. A theorem states that these two angles are equal if the quads are equal. Let's use this theorem in a problem. PQ, QR and RS are three equal quads of a circle with ZF center and PF diameter. We have to find angle PZQ. At this point, I would like to request you to please pause the video and try to solve the question or your own and come back to check your answer. Since you have already tried, so let's solve. We are given PQ is equal to QR is equal to RS. These are the three quads of the circle. From the previous theorem, we can get that angle PZQ is equal to angle QZR is equal to angle RZS. These are the three angles which we are talking about. As you can see in the circle, they are joining a straight line, so their measure has to be 180 degrees. So if I add all these angles, they will add up to be 180 degrees. As they form a straight angle. It is very important to write reasons for every step you do. With this statement, you must write the statement of the theorem that we have just discussed. I am writing only in short form, that is theorem 1. Since all these angles are equal, I can put the values of all these angles to be PZQ. So I get 3 times angle PZQ is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle PZQ is 180 divided by 3, which is 60 degrees. So this is the answer. One angle measures 60 degrees. And all these angles are equal, so the measure of all these angles will be 60 degrees. I hope you solved this question right. So let's move on to our second theorem for the day. The perpendicular from the center of the circle to a chord bisects the chord. Here we have a perpendicular OR and the O is the center of the circle. The theorem states that if we draw a perpendicular from the center to the chord, then it divides the chord equally. That means QR is equal to PR. We also have a converse of this theorem. The converse states that if we draw a line from the center to the quad which divides the quad equally, then that line is perpendicular to the quad. We will use both of these theorems in the upcoming questions. So keep these two theorems in mind. Let's move on to solving one of the problems. Given circle O with perpendicular at R, QR is 2x plus 12 and PR is 4x minus 40. Find PQ. 
we are given that O is perpendicular at R. From the theorem that we have just done, these two parts need to be equal. So I have QR equal to VR by theorem 2 of this video. Putting the values 2x plus 12 equals 4x minus 40. So we have to take the term with x on one side and all the constants on the other side. So I am taking this constant 12 here. This will change the sign of 12. Here it is positive 12. So if it goes on the other side, it will become negative 12. Similarly, I am taking 4x to the other side. Here it is positive. So if it goes on the other side, it will become negative. 2x minus 4x equals minus 15. As both are negative, so we will add them. 40 plus 12 is 52 with the negative sign. 2x minus 4x will be negative 2x equals to 42. Now we can cancel out the negative sign from both the sides and x will be 26. Now this will not give us the answer that we are looking for. We have to put this value of x in the QR and PR to find the length of PQ. How do we find PQ? PQ is nothing but the sum of QR and PR. 2x plus 12 plus 4x minus 40. Adding the like term 6x minus 28. Putting the value of x will be 6 times 26 minus 28 which will be 156 minus 28 will be 128. So this will be the answer for this question. Let's move on to another theorem for today. Equal quads are equidistant from the center. Again, this theorem is based on quads. A, B and C, D are given to be two equal quads. Their distance from the center is given by OX and OY. If the two quads are equal, then their distance from the center is also equal. Let's solve a problem related to this theorem. Given a circle with center O as center and quads AB equal to CD equal to 14 cm. Perpendiculars are drawn from O to Y or to X. The radius of circle is 25 cm. You have to find the length of OY. We are already given that OX and OY are perpendiculars. So let's draw the sign. We have to find the length of OY and we can see that we have two right angled triangles. So we will use the Pythagorean theorem in triangle OXB and triangle OCY. Now, if you remember, we have done uh, theorem 2, the converse part. If we draw a perpendicular from the center of the circle to the chord, then it bisects the chord. So, we are given ABCD to be 14 cm. Since OX bisects the chord, we have AX equal to XB equal to 7 cm. Similarly, CY equals to DY equals to 7 cm. And we are given the radius of the circle to be 25 cm. In triangle OXB, applying Pythagorean theorem, we will get OB squared is equal to OX squared plus XB squared. We do not know the length of OX, so we'll keep it as it is. XB is known to be 7 and OB is 25. 25 squared, 625 is equal to OX squared plus 7 squared is 49. Taking 49 to this side and subtracting it from 25, we get 576 equal to OX squared which will imply OX 
is equal to 24 centimeter. Since the chords A, B and C, D are equal, their distance from the center has to be equal. So, OX will be equal to OY and the length of OY will be 24 centimeters. I hope you have got the answer to this question. So, I have a challenge question for you which you can try on your own and I will give you the solution to this challenge question in my next video. So, this is the question. Quads A, B and C, D in a circle are 12 cm and 15 cm long. One quad is 4 cm further away from the center. You have to find the radius. So here you can see the two quads are not quite equal. So you will have to use a variable x to show their distance from the center. This is a little hint that I wanted to give you now. You will find the solution to this problem in my next video. I hope you liked my video. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.